Hi, I'm Lauren Zolta, pioneer number 34. And I'm Gada Khad, pioneer number 4. And we're in Khanda, and we're going to tell you about our last Shabbat. Um, last Shabbat on Kibbutz, Tir Hatzbe. Okay, so we're going to start from Friday night, right? Right, yeah. <laughs> so Friday night, um, we had, right before Shabbat, we had this, um, we played this game to learn about all different things on a kibbutz. And how a kibbutz works and what the jobs people have, how you, how like you live on it, how you get accepted into one, and like what the verdicts are on like cases like on lending money and who gets enough money here and there. And then we went to sleep and Saturday morning was... A bit, a bit tough because we had Lauren, to wake up everybody, yeah. and no one woke up because it was Shabbat. But still, we got the shul on time. We got it's there. We, we prayed. Ashkenaz <laughs> Minyan. It was interesting. And then. And then before lunch, the, yeah. we had um, soldiers from Gear. Karin Savar. Karin Savar. Um, they're like soldiers from America who come to. They're so, yeah, they're from America, and then they make Aliyah to Israel in order to be in the Israeli army. And they get adopted families like our counselor Josh, and also the soldier we learned about, Michael Levine, who, and passed, away. who passed away. And um, so we had like 15 girl and boy soldiers from America. Really good looking. <laughs> and um, they told us about um, coming to Israel and why they came. and. We all asked them questions about how the army was, and they were very inspirational and very cool. What do you have to say about them? Um, it, uh, we learned how you make an aliyah from, you, from the States when you come to Israel, how you get into the army, where you go, where you live, and how you live your life throughout the duration of the army. And, yeah, and then we ate. Good lunch on the kibbutz. And then we had chill time. We all slept. And played frisbee. And then we had mincha. We ate some rashish. And then um, this a guy who lives on the kibbutz. Yeah. He moved here from America, and his name was Mr. Robinson. He told us about his family life on the kibbutz and how it is to live on the kibbutz, and um, how he, he told us about. He didn't tell us. But we found out later on that he lost his son in the war. Um, he was still like he was still like half Eva and he loved living on the kibbutz and he was telling us about like his job and like even though that he lives in the kibbutz he could still go he still does other things like we all thought like if you live in a kibbutz that um, that like you like a lot of people thought that you want to live in a kibbutz you just stay in the kibbutz but he told us like his kids went to like South America and like he went to all different places. So it was very interesting because we already stayed on. Um, this was our second kibbutz that we slept on, and I really didn't know what a kibbutz was. We stayed in the hot tub. So, so I didn't really know what a kibbutz was. All I knew was our rooms that we stayed in. But now I actually knew what a kibbutz was and that they share everything, all their money, and they all go to school there. It was very interesting. Yeah. And then we prayed, and then we went to uh, bit. After Shabbat. Yeah, after Shabbat. What was it called? Beit Sha'an. Beit Sha'an. We learned. It was a light show. It was so cool. And it showed us all the history of Beit Sha'an. On like rocks with lights. Yeah, and then we walked around through all the... Ruins. The, the, yeah. The ruins of Beit Sha'an. We learned all the history of Beit Sha'an. Yeah. God, why are you rubbing your eye? Because <laughs> I got contacts. <laughs> and I leave. Now he's a leader. <laughs> yeah, that man, I got contacts and I got a blessed cup. In the army. Because he's a soldier. <laughs> Um, yep. So it was a great Shabbat. It was, yeah, it was fun. I was a Chinook Toran. Chinook Toran. Chinook Toran. Chinook Toran. Chinook Toran. In all, I learned a lot about leadership and a lot about how coming to the States and adapting to Israeli really life. That was very interesting. Thing. And it sort of made me want to go to the army a little because the people were cool. No, I don't want to go. But not anymore because I didn't like the armies. Okay. Anything else, guys? Uh, nope. Nope. I'll uh, see you in two weeks. America. Family. <laughs> Love you. Love you, Mom. <laughs> <laughs>